FSU just flipped a huge commitment from five-star tight end Landon Thomas. Tell me about this kid, AB. Ooh, I'm going to try my <laughs> best to be uh, motivated on the computer. It's hard to do for me, but you know, everybody knows how dry we are. But that's right, five-star tight end, number 24 nationally. And I'm only using the, the 24-7 sports ratings. I'm not using that damn composite because there's too many, too many bad eggs in there. So... Number 24 overall, number one tight end, number five overall player in Georgia, 98 rating for a tight end, a five-star, was formally committed to Florida State, flipped to Georgia. He has flipped back. We have got pancake cooking going on right now. Flip season, six foot four, 235 pounds out of Moultrie, Georgia, Colquitt County High School, Landon Thomas. Holy hell. That's right. He's committed to two-time back-to-back National champion, Georgia. I don't know how the hell they did it, but they did it. He's coming to, well, he's committed to Florida State. We got a ways to go till signing day, but as of now, he is committed to Florida State, and this is a massive get. Chris Thompson, redemption song, sing, baby, sing. Well, I guess uh, our words are not as good as our film, so let's go ahead and jump, <laughs> jump into the film. Yes, I can't wait. Oh, love this dude. There's something about a special tight end. You watch the Travis Kelsey's, you watch the the Gronks. The I was listening to a, a Shannon Sharp interview. He was on the New Heights podcast with uh, Travis and Jason Kelsey. It was a phenomenal interview. Something about a special elite athlete that, at the tight end position that just changes an offense. And that first first route. I mean, he looks like a wide receiver out there, but he's yeah. huge. Look at him run. A little slip screen, middle middle screen. Man. Yeah, with some of these kids, you don't, we don't even need to be here. You just watch Look this. at those hips. Look at that fluidity at 6'4", two, uh, 235, 240. Look at that spin, that acceleration. Look at him getting off. Pattern. Look at how he runs. Just runs through people. Big <laughs> bodies for football. Yeah, look high at him high point that ball. That's strong hands. Yeah, runs through contact, runs through more contact, high point the football, strong hands. Oh my God. <laughs> Making cuts, turning on a dime. Holy look at that. No, look at him finding the void, finding the soft spot in the zone, presenting a big target, catching the ball well, clean. Mm. Turn right there. He's able to get his hips low, head down, tight turn. So this linebacker's told to pass this guy off because he mm -hmm. figures he's going to run kind of into this safety. They're not expecting him to be able to turn on a dime here right in the middle of the zone. So yeah. when he runs routes like wide receiver, he's already, you know, built kind of like a tight end. Um, look, yeah. at him, look at him use his body there to create space. On the whip route. Man. I think what's going to be extra extra good about this is that we're going to get to see kind of Jaheim Bell in a yep. similar mold, the bigger bodied receiving tight end. That's I mean, kind of setting setting the mood for for this kid mm -hmm. to come in and kind of take over, yeah. take over the reins. Yeah, I think we've <laughs> I think we've said everything we could say about his game. Look at him running the post here. Oh boy. I don't know who the hell's covering this dude. The, the, the question's going to be, can he get in the run? Can he be inserted in the run game and block? He's not. I don't think you're going to see him as a as a traditional Y with his hand in the dirt. He's going to be that kind of that three back, the flex. Um, but he's still going to have to insert on counter. So is he is that going to be a part of his game? Even if not, I mean, they're going to find a way to use this dude. Yeah, I keep waiting for for a clip of him blocking, but I mean, I to me the Jaheim Bell comparison is just, I mean, right there in your face. He's running yeah. the ball as as a as a running back. He's running routes like a wide receiver. He's big bodied, can go across the middle. I don't know, and there's just there's nothing not to like here. He 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 probably even has a higher ceiling than than what you're seeing out of Jaheim Bell. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason he's a five star. He's a special special athlete. Great feet, great hips. The ability to de decelerate, accelerate, oh, physical, <laughs> strong hands. Seems like a great route runner. Here he, oh that's nasty. 
that fluidity at six foot four, 240 pounds is just, that's different. Yeah. That's just not fair for anybody in high school to, to guard. He gets the hips open and then comes back underneath. That's just craziness. Yeah. He truly might be one of the better route runners I've seen out of high school. And he's a tight end. That little, that little stop start. I don't think people appreciate Here's a block. That. Well, there we go. All right. Okay. Check it off the box. He'll do it. Start insert a little <laughs> ISO play. Let's go. Spring up. Spring a touchdown. And he sticks his nose in there. Boom. All right, a little stick. No I mean, he's back to full speed immediately. Like that's yeah. craziness to me. His change of direction is pretty insane. There's Here's another block. Blocking. Yeah. All right. On a defensive end, you know maybe, he gets maybe, up in there. Maybe he will be able to put his hand in the dirt. I don't think that that's the best use of him, but personally, but. No, I, I think you want this kid to have the ball in his hands. Here's yeah, you ball. want him flexed. You want him being a mismatch. Force defense, but, you know, with how Mike Norvell runs his offense, they're going to try to get the ball in different people's hands depending on the matchup of that given week. So you, mm -hmm. you still need guys that are willing to block and willing to kind of serve when other people are getting the ball. And I'm glad that he's including this in, in kind of the end yeah. part of his. Show, ooh, oh, finishing dudes on the sideline on the screen game. <laughs> All right, last one. No, oh, there's got to be uh, more, right? Oh, there's plenty. Yeah, let it run. Let it run. All right, let's, let's celebrate. People, Not every day you, you Not every day. So there's a little switch concept. We saw a little bit of this in the spring game. Yes, we did. Does a good job of kind of noticing that. So the defense is running a kind of cover two here. So that means the natural weakness to this mm -hmm. defense is here and here. Uh, Landon Thomas does a good job of recognizing that, and he turns his head as soon as he kind of gets into the soft spot of the zone. Um, I mean, he's aware of kind of defenses, where he's at on the field. You see the body control and the back shoulder throw and catch. This kind of mm -hmm. looks like it's potentially some kind of option route. Athletic enough to get down and pick the ball off the ground. Again, showing good hands, gets his hands underneath of it. He's trying the to widen to out bend, the safety. The ability to bend at 6'4", run it at full speed and make this play. Yeah, pick it up off the ground. Let's see. Lees County's vaunted cover three. <laughs> I've actually heard their head coach talk about how they run this. So. Oh, really? Um. Yeah, so guess what? You run a wheel wrap. You, you run a you run a wheel wrap behind it. Right. You run two two run guys at this yeah. corner, and uh I think they probably picked up the wrong guy. Hey, flat defender, you gotta run with it, dog. <laughs> I don't think there's any flat defender that's gonna run with him. No, I don't think there is either. But he better torture better be trying. <laughs> Again, physicality too. It takes three you know, minutes. You see out. these big dudes that aren't as physical. This he is just a horse. Man, I, I I hadn't watched his film coming into this. I'm I'm just coming away so impressed by his by his route running. I mean, that's there just he is again. That's just an easy five yards. Just yeah. so quick, big it's body, free. turn around. And you gotta play him off because he's got speed to kill you. Yep. More blocking. Love that. You just play the numbers game here, right? Yep. He can block a he can block a corner. Let's see. He's matched up on someone. They have a corner out there on him. Yep, he's blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see him finish. Just manhandles that dude. All right, now he's now he's at an H back, a little sniffer. Oh, nice. <laughs> Little H delay. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. Especially if you got a scrambling quarterback, threaten the threaten the QB draw. Linebackers fall asleep. Whoop. Now you got a big guy who runs fast moving down the field. Do you I see do. any weaknesses or anything that might be perceived as a weakness? Because he even kind of checked the boxes with some of the blocking stuff. He does. I, I mean, he, I've only seen him block one 
defensive lineman, but I I think you see enough there. I don't think he's really going to be used as a, you know, Preston Daniel. This is a guy you want to run down the field. You want to have yeah. the ball in his hand. I think. I think he's a guy that Norvell's also not going to be afraid to use as as a wildcat. You know, he. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's nothing I don't like about this. Guy. Oh, okay. This is what got him the offer from Florida State. I can tell. You. <laughs> yep, you're right. He knocks someone. He pancakes someone on a kick return. It's an organization. Nor- oh, Norvell saw that and he just he hit the. He sent the letter, <laughs> stamped the letter on that on that last play. That was um, a stamp of approval. This is big. This is huge. I mean the the one the one complaint you you can say about this staff is. The lack of you know top end recruiting, and you can see here they they just pulled in just another really nice piece to this class. So, um, AB, any final thoughts about this Landon Thomas commit? No, it's massive. Um, you know they're they're big they're big dog hunting. We've obviously done a couple of videos here recently. The BJ Gibson and Lil Wayne McCoy commitments, um, Camden Fryer and Tawaski Abrams in the class already. It is speed, speed, speed at all with all four of those guys. Um, you throw a you throw a, a Landon Thomas in the mix and it gets really tough to cover. You're talking about um, a lot of speed on the field, being able to press you vertically, attack you horizontally also with, a, with an elite run game. Uh, this offense could get really, really freaky in a hurry um, if these guys get in here and get developed. They obviously need to show up on campus uh, and sign their letters of intent in December or February or whatever. Um, the, these are the difference makers. These are the ne- this is the next step that that it's been talked about. And it's been beaten to death about uh, Mike Norvell and the staff needing to do. Well, here we go. Um, you're getting the commitments. Get them in the class come December. Let's rock and roll because this is the type of dude that wins you a national championship. Yep, this this is huge. Totally agree with every everything you said. Needed a needed a good tight end to to complement mm-hmm. those those receivers. Yeah. And, um. Yeah, this guy's going to look really good in Garnet and Gold. So uh, thank you guys for for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Um, like and subscribe. Knowles 247. X's and Knowles. Go, go, go. Be sure to check back through. Obviously, spring game. There's a ton of stuff coming out of the spring game. Great yep. Luke Kremenhawk uh, interview. I believe there was a that big four-star offensive lineman from um, out in Cali that, that, that did a great interview. I believe there was a Cam Davis interview. We had Loway Lu- McCoy and BJ Gibson. Check out the uh, the instant reaction to the spring game if you have it. All here on the Knowles 24-7 channel. And coming soon, the film review over on the X's and Knowles channel. Be sure to check that out. Yeah, we'll have all sorts of film breakdowns on the X's and Knowles channel of the spring game and pretty much anything else. So uh, make sure it's that you're liked and subscribed. You don't miss a thing. Check us out over on uh, the Knowles 247 site where we're writing stuff Uh, mostly inflammatory comments all the time. (laughs) Uh, And uh, we'll see you guys next time.